Hello and welcome, we have here the world standard double burner gas stove. We will have all of these parts so stay tuned until the end of the video for 3 different cooking tests. First, let's get started with the unboxing experience. So the unboxing experience is a big thumbs up, no broken pieces or no shattered glass here. Unfortunately, we do not have any bubble wrap but we do have the manual and we also have 4 rubber feet. It also comes with a free wok ring which is you know very useful for stir fry so that you have that direct heat. We have two types of burners. We have this Vortex burner which is created using brass, brass the metal and we also have here the right side which is the cast iron burner which I will show you later. The package comes with two metal pan supports which are nice and heavy duty. Overall unboxing experience is 8 out of 10. Very very good unboxing experience. Now let's move on to the build quality. Overall build quality of this product is very very good. It has a Japanese piezo ignition for its starter. It has really good rubber feet which do not slide around. It has of course the very very important air shutters which you could adjust to prevent the yellow flame. So to have blue flame you can adjust the air shutters both the inner burner and the outer burner. It's both adjustable. 7 millimeter thick tempered glass and whole stainless steel body construction. So it's a very very good product you know really good design and also the build quality it's nice and you know created for home use and it also comes with this free walk ring so overall the build quality is a solid 9 out of 10. Moving on to the flame tests it's very important for us to take a look at the flames how it works and the quality for the cast iron high power burner as you can see some spouts do not turn on it's very easy to solve you just have to blow a bit of air so that everything comes back to normal. Another solution to this is just to place a pan on top of it and that would also work as well. The vortex burner to your left it's very very easy to ignite and to turn on and again Japanese piezo ignition so it's uh, one spark and it turns on very simple. Adjustable flame also which I will show you a bit more right now. So as you can see right here it is possible for the stove to have just the inner flame turned on. If you adjust the heat to maximum, you can also you know, ignite even the outer ring. So that's, that's totally nice. And the burn, it's very very good. It touches the pan which is something I appreciate which means that it is very efficient in its you know, cooking abilities and it's very hot, very nice and hot. Especially the cast iron burner to the right side. It's nice and heavy duty, really made for walks. Solid 9 out of 10 for the flame. Next up, we have the cooking tests. We have 4 cooking tests in total. All stove videos in this channel, we always have this egg test to test for even heating. So we are currently using the Vortex burner. And you know, it, the reason why it's Vortex, it's you know, how the flame moves around and how it touches the pan. It looks sort of like a Vortex and it looks very beautiful as you can see. The egg cooks instantly on a preheated pan with just a little bit of oil. And I will show you later when I flip this egg, it is nice and even. Which is a huge plus when you are looking for a stove. The link of this stove is in the description down below. You will be purchasing this from the worldstandard.ph Shopee store. Remember when I mentioned this problem, not all spouts turn on. The solution to this is just to put your pan on top of it and all spouts will turn on with the flame. So no problem with that. Here we have our Sinangag test, you know, using the high powered cast iron burner. Unfortunately, you know, the heat was a bit too high. So some garlic bits burned, but that's not a problem. Just make sure to adjust the flame to your liking. Later, I will adjust the flame just so that you know the inner burner is turned on and not the outer burner. And as you can see right here, it's very, very nice and easy. The purpose of the wok ring is to make sure that the heat is directly upward towards you know the pan and it doesn't you know move around and uh, be not so efficient. So that's why there that's why there is a wok ring there 
It's for the efficiency of the heating. Next, we have here pampano fish, stuffed pampano with tomatoes, garlic, ginger, sibuyas inside the pampano. And we will use a grill pan for this method. Flipping the pampano fish, it's nice and crispy and it's even all throughout. This is using the Vortex stove in a medium-low setting. Flipping this other fish, that's very nice. Nice and crispy skin. But this is my rendition of you know a steamed fish dish. So we will be adding water a bit later. Of course, it's very important for us to you know make sure that you know the pan doesn't really spill. And how is the cleanup process? Luckily, the cleanup process is very simple because we have the tempered glass top of this stove. And we are just adding a bit of honey. So that's uh, really to give the sweetness and to lift, you know, the recipe, the dish to make it next level, you know. And one of the things I appreciate about this stove is that the flame touches the pan, which makes for very efficient heating, which I really do appreciate. And now we have here some leeks. You can use, you know, onion, spring onions or other different onion families. But leeks is very good for this recipe. If you do not have, you know, pineapple tidbits or you could use pineapple tidbits instead of the mandarin orange in light syrup, I decided to use this for the color so that, you know, the dish has a bit of color. And overall, the cooking process is very nice, you know, very simple, very fast. Fish is cooked all the way through and it's a very nice and efficient stove, especially the Vortex burner and the cast iron high powered burner. I really really like this stove so much but we have one more recipe it's not really a recipe it's more of a you know a spontaneous stir fry of gulai any gulai available in the refrigerator so we have some onions here we have celery we have garlic of course and again leeks as you can see right here wok tossing is you know very very pleasurable in this type of scenario where you know the heat is very high and as you can see the pan smokes that's what creates the flavor you know the smokiness to the dish which i really do appreciate and that's the reason why you know this this stove especially this cast iron high power burner is very good for stir fries it's very good for wok cooking if you want to have that smoky flavor to your dishes you know chinese cuisine and you know other dishes that involve stir frying this is really amazing we add all of our vegetables we have cabbage and carrots just a bit of the uh, the sauce the flavoring with a bit of cornstarch and tossing this around is very good unfortunately the wok i'm using it's not a carbon steel wok which is uh, which is a bummer but that's totally fine we still have very delicious food and the cooking tests i give it a solid 9 out of 10. very very satisfying cooking and now we are ready for the overall ratings. Overall ratings for this product, I will keep it simple. It's a 9 out of 10. It's a very good product to have, especially if you have, you know, uh, you want to do the cooking for your family or if you want to replace your old stove, this could be a replacement. Again, the link of this product is in the description down below. I recommend because of its high power, its good efficiency since the flame touches the pan. I really recommend the build quality. This could last you several years. And since you are buying this on Shopee Mall, you are sure of this product's authenticity. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell. Thank you very much for watching this video and see you next time.